Well, Neil, congratulations. Third place secured in the National League. It's been a some season to date, but to perform as you did this afternoon, you must be extra pleased. Yeah, um, you know, we knew what we had to do. It was in our hands. We had to win. Um, and Bournemouth's never an easy place to come. You know, they're going to be doing a lap of honour in front of their fans. They wanted to put in a performance. So, you know, we had to, we had to be at it. And um, we've lost one game in 23, 24 in the league. And every week they're at it. And these boys, it's all about them. You know, me and Quinny will steer the ship. But these boys are just relentless. And like I say, they need two high performances now. Um, you know, and, and the results that, that follow them. And, and uh, who knows, they could write some history. It could have been easy maybe to go into this game thinking, oh, Halifax have got to go to Stockport, etc. But focus on your own game and yeah. go out and win. And in the way we did it, that's all really, that's a focus on yourself. Yeah, absolutely. And we had to defend a few moments early on. Macca made a great save at a crucial time. Um, but like I said, I can't, I can't say enough good things about this group. There's a team spirit that I've never seen before or never managed before. And there's a quality in there that... You know, I'd like to think a lot of teams around the league will look and go, you know, if I had to play anyone, I wouldn't fancy playing Solio. And, um, you know, let's just go in, no expectation, and have a crack, see what happens. Touching on the, the goals, obviously, three this afternoon, but as well the overall play, we look so confident at times. And is that a case of, you know, once that Stockport game was out of the way, we haven't lost many games at all? Well, we've since. won them all. We've won them all, <laughs> we've since, won them all yeah. Since that, we've so. won them all since. Um, no, we, we, they're in a good place, you know, and whether it's, um, you know, Newts and Dallow, up top, whether Runes plays up there in scores against, you know, Runes came uh, came in against um, uh, Bromley, scored in open play, a great goal. Carl Hoodlin's come in today, scored. He was unfortunate to be brought off last week. You know, we played Dagenham with 10 men last week and won 3 1. And you look what they've gone and done to Wrexham. So, you know, you only lose one in 22, 23 games because you're doing something right. And all these boys have got to do is keep doing something right and, and see whether, whether where it takes us and what happens. And uh, I can't be any more proud of them. 87 points is ridiculously good. Um, in a normal 46 game season, that probably takes you into the 90s. And, um, you know, even that in itself is a massive achievement. So let's go and have fun. Let's go and have a crack and take these fans with us. You mentioned the fans. I was just going to touch on them. Some following today and some noise. No, brilliant. Uh, and to be fair, all season, the ones that have come have been brilliant, but the numbers have grown as we've gone on and the excitement's gone about the season. So hopefully now we, we fill out our ground for the semi-final and we take a load with us if we can get through that semi-final. But we've got to take it one game at a time. I went over and thanked them. Um, you know, the noise was incredible. So, you know, let's enjoy the ride. And that's where it is now. We've got hopefully in the next three weeks or so is going to be an enjoyable ride. You mentioned pressure. Maybe looking from the outside, people see Solio Moors in in there with the big names, as we mention every week, Stockport, Knotts and Wrexham. But, you know, if we focus on ourselves and you know, play how we know we can, then it's anyone's game. I think we're a match for anyone. I think you've shown that when you saw us play Stockport, Wrexham, you know, Knotts at home in the free all draw. You know, and they're, they're probably three of the best teams out there, in my opinion, for the expansive way they can play and open you up. You know, Halifax are a very, very solid team and they've had a fantastic season. But I knew after the Stockport game, I, you know, we talked about it and the officer said we need to win our remaining five games if we're going to get third spot. And we've done it. So um, we're in a good place. We're in good form. Uh, hopefully, we can, uh, you know, we can win two more. Does a two-week break? matter to you or is it a case of you knew what the schedule was like and yeah. you, you take it as it comes but at the same time you must be wanting games to come thick and fast yeah we, we, well, yeah of course but we've planned we've planned um, a schedule for finishing fourth finishing fifth we had an initial one for finishing anywhere and then now recently we knew we was third or fourth so we've we've planned a schedule for third or fourth so we know what we're doing the boys know what we're doing there's going to be time off there's going to be hard training and uh, we'll try and keep them mentally and physically in, in in a great condition for the for the game in two weeks and it's all going to come down to not having any anxiety and going out and expressing ourselves and see what happens. Just a final touch on uh, those missing today that Lois and Crano still out what's the update on it? Yeah Crano's back running now his calf he did a tweak in his calf so he's back running they're always tricky calves you have to be careful Lois's knee you know he, he gets little bits of stiffness and pain in his knee every now and then so sometimes he trains and he trains you know three or four days running and other times it flares up so we've just had to take a precaution with him but now we've got two weeks try and get him right try and get him back in the throw try and get Crano back in the throw and uh, and have a full uh, you know selection problem going into the games okay cheers Adam. thank you congratulations